Hi, this is Stephanie Miller from The Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from my show on Political Voices Network. Al Gore has a great big house. <laughs> Obama had a hip hop barbecue. <laughs> Hi, good morning, Bob. Hi, good morning. You know, Joe Biden has uh, something like tw uh, 20 shell companies, or that's what they say. That's what Scott Perry said. Uh -huh. Do you know how many Donald Trump has? Donald Trump has more than 500 shell companies. Yeah. I, okay. I, uh, I, oh, my God. I, yeah. They're just playing their own suckers. Yep. They're just. They just love deceiving their own people. <laughs> and, yes, you know, insulting their people's intelligence, uh, which isn't there, isn't really there. But yeah, yeah, I I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. So obviously, McCarthy announces the inquiry yesterday, which I go. It's totally different than an impeachment, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, he, he said, uh, House Republicans have uncovered serious and credible allegations into President Biden's con conduct. Uh, taken together, these allegations paint a picture of, of a culture of corruption. It's just a pastiche of right. notions, notions of yeah. ideas of, you know, yeah, vague yeah. mental meanderings, Bob, that there might be. Okay, <laughs> Republicans have delved into the bank records reflecting millions of dollars of foreign nationals paid the president's son, Hunter, including the years when Biden was uh, uh, a vice president. The records haven't shown any payments to the president himself, however. Uh, yes, McCarthy said earlier this month the House won't open an impeachment inquiry without holding a vote. Of course, Tuesday he apparently sidestepped that, uh, announcing the opening of the inquiry. But, Bob, they've already seen the bank records. Like, everything they say is just the horse, you know. It's, yeah. it's just a series of trigger words. It's just a number of things that uh, either a consultant or a focus group has told the Republicans tend to trigger their own people. Like I say, if they hold up a paper and it says, bank account, look, bank yes. account, Joe Biden, money, <laughs> yes, overseas, Hunter oh. Biden, laptop. It's like Let's hear Nancy Mason the first of 75 times she said bank account yesterday. Uh, do you support <laughs> launching an impeachment inquiry into President Biden? Well, I mean, it's it's hard to say at this point. I think it, there's a difference between an impeachment vote and an inquiry. The inquiry oh, would give oh, us yes. another tool in the toolbox specifically okay. to look at Joe Biden's bank records. Oh. Everyone's screaming about the evidence. Where's the evidence? The bank records hold bank all records. of the evidence. And I if see. the American people, Caitlin, uh -huh. if you could see the right. suspicious activity reports that mm -hmm. I have seen on the mm -hmm. Biden family, mm -hmm. you would too would probably support an impeachment inquiry just uh -huh. as a tool to get more information tool. on yeah. on specifically the bank the information, bank records, bank records uh -huh. Again, and Joe bank, Biden and yeah. his family members. That's an important tool. Yeah, in our that's an important box. tool, except that you already bank have records. them. You already have the bank records. She's a tool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Scott Perry did the same thing yesterday. Instead of saying Joe Biden specifically, he would go to Biden family. Mm -hmm. When the allegations got really serious, and they're not very, very serious at all, he would say Biden yeah. family instead of Biden because it's not Biden. It's not right. Joe Biden. It's not the president, right. yeah. if, at any, if at all. I mean, that's the crazy yes. thing about this. Could it's a lot of weasel words that when... Yeah taken into sound bites and p put on social media or on Breitbart or whatever yeah. tends to incite the MAGA yeah. suckers who believe could you, all of this stuff. Could you please put uh, Conor McGregor and Yukon Cornelius on uh, standby, please? Uh, Bob, let's review, shall we? Let's review what we know. The FBI informant, <laughs> they've, okay. He said a, a, a Ukrainian oligarch alleged the bribe, but also said that he that he might have been making it up. And a former business partner testified that Hunter Biden put his father on the phone, uh, it, but he didn't actually discuss any of <laughs> their business. That's it. That's what they've got. It, well, they've got. You'll do nothing. You'll do f***ing nothing. Yeah. Not one of you will do nothing. Get the f*** out of here. McCarthy did not allege any corrupt official action on Biden's park, but said an impeachment inquiry would, quote, be the logical next step, allowing Republicans to gather said evidence. I mean, yeah. so, hello, cart, horse, like, it, it's just, this is peak insanity even for them, isn't it? Yes, they've taken something that uh, admittedly works in that uh, information silo, in that in that bubble right. of theirs, which they've carefully cultivated for years just for this purpose, so that they can say stupid things like, Hunter Biden, bank accounts, ooh, money, all, uh, shell companies. And then their people will go, oh my God, this is oh, serious. Yeah. We're going to be able to impeach him. And then, uh, of course, as soon as it's made public to everyone else, as soon as it takes the form of an impeachment inquiry, we all look at this stuff, and we will look at this stuff and go, "What? what? This is this is it? 
But that's just it. They, they, they're, they're taking their fiction yeah. and exposing it to daylight now. And already, within 24 hours, it's all starting to fall apart. Kevin McCarthy, uh, the, the fact that they, they're they not going to call a vote, even though they're bound to mm-hmm. actually call a vote before having an impeachment inquiry. I mean, that's a requirement under uh, Donald Trump's Department of Justice. Yeah. That was well, something was that just was established say, at the time. Yeah. That's the key is Donald Trump has told them to do this. I mean, this is was reported yesterday. Right. He met with them He because he employing his patented Pee Wee Herman strategy. I know you are, but what am I? You're <laughs> right. He just I, he was impeached too. Joe Biden was impeached. I was Do you impeach me? I got to impeach you. I mean, it's just this yeah. is how because he told them to do it. That's why. Right, right, right. And ultimately, this is going to explode in their faces. Yes. And especially Kevin McCarthy's face, maybe a little bit of Donald Trump will get, maybe uh, he'll get a little bit of a blowback on that too. But this reminds me a lot of what happened in 1998, where, or the possibility of it, which, where uh, I think the American public saw what Newt Gingrich was up to during the Clinton years, during the impeachment proceeding against Bill Clinton. And the backlash against the Republicans in the 1998 midterms was yeah. pretty fierce. And then Newt Gingrich ended up getting taken down shortly after that. Yeah. And so but I, I think but at least... is, we're looking at a similar situation here. This is yeah. much more like the late 90s than it is when uh, Donald Trump was impeached twice yeah. for committing at obvious crimes. We yeah. had one set of facts. Are you pro-BJ or anti? Are you pro-consensual BJ <laughs> or are you right. anti? But it was just, at yeah. least we had one set of facts. At least it was a there, there. You're like, you know, should Bill Clinton, 70% of the American people said, no, he, Bill Clinton should not be being impeached over his private yeah. life. I mean, yeah. I, and the funny and, thing and is when you think back to that, yeah. it started because of a failed land deal. <laughs> like, look at all the money that Trump and his entire grifter family has stolen and grifted, right? You're like, yeah. this was a, I don't even know what, where the there there was with Whitewater in the first place. And then it expanded into an investigation of his private life. Yeah. But it, yeah. Well, this is, I mean, this is something in the bigger picture. This is something that needs to happen because right now the Republicans are in the process of renominating a guy who incited an insurrection, engaged in a racketeering conspiracy to overthrow the 2020 election, and then who also, and this is most important as far as I'm concerned, pr- presided over the deaths of 400,000 Americans in his final year. Yeah. By the way, just by point of comparison, the number of Americans who died at Benghazi was four and and yeah. four hundred thousand is a hundred thousand times that number yeah and this, this is the guy they're putting up so obviously what they have to do is start waving a, a red sheet or a, a shiny pair of keys or something like that yeah and get everyone talking about biden is old and something I something know. hunter biden shell company's money something by the way the and, speaking of the yeah. bill clinton thing i was just reminded of, of all the gross disgusting <laughs> things donald trump has done in his life that before the debate you remember with hillary he invited oh, yeah. the uh, the bill yeah. clinton uh, accusers most of which have been completely debunked and whatever to sit there like he's oprah you know oh really tell me your story oh yeah. poor you uh bill, i mean just so gross but that was right after yeah. the you know the tape right where he was like oh i know you are but what am i oh look at yeah. over there at bill clinton Ugh, it's anyway yeah, you- it's, it's so funny what we've decided that it doesn't even matter anymore the fact that donald trump is an indecent horrible human being yes rapist at, at, for starters Thank as you. the baseline for be, before you tack on all the crimes and everything else that he's on the hook for four hundred thousand american deaths in his final year Basically, Donald Trump is a, is a horrible, horrible, monstrous human being yeah. who does horrible things just as a matter of course throughout his typical day. And that was another great example. And bringing that level or that lack of decency and decorum to the White House, we just, we're like, okay, well, we're beyond that now as far as Donald Trump goes. Let's talk about yeah. Joe Biden and the fact that he's old. Suddenly, that's a thing. Yeah, Even it's the Joe butter Biden emails. Old three years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Bob, you called out the best both sides thing on Twitter. The uh, uh, Kevin McCarthy uh, breaking far left activists have stormed U.S. Speaker Kevin McCarthy's act of, uh, uh, office. Um, somebody, oh, Ted Cruz said, "I'm looking forward to Ted CNN Cruz. commentators hyperventilating about this insurrection for the next two years." It's just like one of these typical protests that people have in a mm-hmm. senator's office or a congressperson's office. Where, and you said, yeah. "Wait, was the Senate evacuated while counting electoral votes?" You slimy hack fraud. Uh-huh. I mean, they will try to look for equivalents in everything, false equivalents in everything, right? Oh yeah, yeah, and it's a big dose of you know the Pee Wee Herman. I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> right. Thing. This is I know something you are, but what am I? Engaged in. Yeah, 
Exactly. It's something Republicans have engaged in for years and years and years. Remember the George W. Bush years? Yeah. And there yeah. should be like a sound effect of someone screaming in my ear <laughs> as soon as I say that. Uh-huh. Thank you yes. very much. Yes. And so once George W. Bush left office and Barack Obama entered office, suddenly Republicans cared about presidents signing executive orders. When throughout George W. Bush's years, all he did was expand the executive office of the presidency yeah. using executive or, or the imperial uh, presidency by signing executive orders. And so this is the, you know, we're just going to take everything that, that the Democrats said about Republicans and we're going to flip it around and say it against the Democrats now. Yeah. And that's kind of what this Joe Biden thing is all about. They just, this is the only tactic they really have. Uh, in lieu of actual governing, yeah, <laughs> they don't yeah. have any yeah. successes as far I mean, as that goes. I, so, and, gotta, and the, la- gotta latch their, themselves to something. And you referred to the excess. I heard it's five hundred thousand deaths. That, but I mean, literally, a new study called Trump a comorbidity. That, that that's why oh, yeah. Americans yeah. had a, as many excess deaths. But this anti-science idiocy is like you commented on something on our show yesterday about the. <laughs> No evidence offshore wind development killing whales. Most frequent causes for whale deaths in the Atlantic are ship strikes and net entanglements. But I, I, was it Rob, noted scientist Rob Schneider, as you said? Yeah. Uh-huh. Well-known marine biologist Rob Schneider <laughs> tweeted, green energy doesn't work. The wind towers in the water are killing whales on the eastern seaboard. And some other idiot, was it, who was it we were talking about that said that? Some, oh, Ron Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, Ron Johnson. Right. And someone's like, oh, is it windmill cancer that's, that's killing the whales? <laughs> It's just, but this is the level of idiocy we've gotten to. Yeah, yeah. And when you dig into this myth that Republicans are playing with, first of all, the Republicans suddenly caring about whales and the environment. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. That's that's precious, isn't it? So sweet of them to finally care. Uh, But it's not having an effect on whales whatsoever, the establishment of these uh, offshore wind farms. And I think one of the things they're talking about is the sonar that they use to determine where to put these wind farms to test the you know the the ground underneath the water and so on and uh but it's a they use a a frequency that whales and porpoises and dolphins can't even hear so it's not causing it it's just it's net entanglements and it's ship strikes that tends to happen yeah uh, quite a bit so it's not uh it's not on porpoise it's not on porpoises stop it no it's not on porpoise oh my god really Oh, hi. I'm here with sexy liberal John saying wearing my Los Angeles sexy liberal shirt. Oh, my God. We have an L.A. show coming up October 21st. But how else could you see it, John? How else could you see it? I'm so glad you asked. For a limited time, you can see the show live via pay-per-view <gasps> if you go to sexyliberal.com. All the laughs, you'll miss nothing. I can stream it from all around the world? All around the world, in your car, while you're driving. Watch it at home. Sexyliberal.com, yeah.